mess that money up. But my cousin started teaching me how to take out of each paycheck, take five or ten dollars and start saving it. You know, I had and back then I had piggy banks, guys. We had piggy banks back then, right? Or the big jugs, you know, from the pickle jar, or whatever you would get, and you would start saving and see how much you could save. And then she started telling me about the every time you break a, a dollar rule, take the change, put it in there. Every time you take a, take break a dollar, take the change, put it in there. So that's when I first started learning anything about finance and financial literacy. My whole entire time through high school, I learned, yes, you learn your ba basic math or say arithmetic. <laughs> you learn the basics of that, but they didn't teach you financial literacy, how to balance a checkbook, you know, how to keep your credit uh, score in good standing. Because we know a lot of times in the black community, our credit was already bad by the time we were grown because our parents put shit in our name, right? Let's be real about that. Sometimes the light bill was in your name, sometimes the gas bill, sometimes the phone bill. So all these things happen to us as a way of like messing us up with the credit situation, not being financially literacy, knowing that credit is going to come back to haunt you one day when you want to buy a car, when you want to get that first apartment, when you want to get that job thing, you know, when you want to buy a first house, all those things. So I didn't. So as I graduated, you know, uh, out of high school, learning more, I was out on my own because I was touring too. But I know for a fact my mom would have pushed me out the house after I graduated high school. Had I not went on tour with my cousin, I would have been out the house at 18. Because it was either you're going to go to college or you're going to get a job. So with me already being in the music industry, I just chose to travel and tour with my cousin. But I know for a fact, because she did, all, she did my brothers like that, my sister, all of us were gone right after like we graduated out of high school. The ones that went to college, went on to college, they got out of college, got their first apartments. We didn't have any help. There was no savings. There was no uh, plan B. It was either you get out there and you make it or else. I think one time my brothers had to come back and live with my mom one time doing a really bad time. And when you know when you're grown and got your own mindset, then that's when the issues come with, you know, all these grown folk, like you said, too many grown folk in this house. Then there's arguing and bickering and disagreements with things. And then my mom's like, you got 30 days to find <laughs> I told my brother, you got 30 days to find you somewhere to live. And by that time, I was back. I had my own place and both of my brothers had to come and live with me because they hadn't found a place. So it just, it was a vicious cycle that we see in the black community that happens a lot. And um, same thing with my son. I did same thing with my son because it was done to me. I knew I didn't have a choice. It's shit or get off the pot is what my mom used to say. So my son, 